my love bugs and love muffins. This is Mama Love and welcome back to my channel. It is 6.51 in the evening because we just got back from Atlanta this morning at five. It was supposed to be five, but my GPS threw me off an hour. It took me all the way around Ann Arbor, coming about where I'm, yeah. It just took me out the way. Okay, it's supposed to have been a straight 75 and a little hit to shot 275 and bam, there it was, but it didn't happen that like that, but nevertheless, I'm here thanking God for all y'all prayers that got me here safely. And I'm um, just here to talk about the good times that I had, but mainly this detox I'm about to be on. I'm going to get to that in the video so about the good times and things that we had. But this right here is another reason why I went to Atlanta because it's, a, it's based in Atlanta. It's Arden's Gardens Fruit Juice Two Day Detox which consists of grapefruit juice, lemon, and orange juice, and distilled water. It was inspired by Queen. Queen was telling me that she was on this when I had called her, bragging about this seafood boil that I was eating, and she was on this two-day detox, and she said she, you know, tried to make it or whatever. However, I heard that if you can't make it and it's too hard for you, that you can eat on some fruit, only fruit, fresh fruit, that's it. But I'm going to try to push this out because I feel like I can deny my body two days at least if i do get weak i will eat on some fruit uh watermelon pineapple uh, uh what you call it uh cantaloupe uh what's that honeydew stuff like that but i'm going to try this and it's supposed to be uh 12 ounces every hour for two days this gallon and i have another gallon this whole full gallon has to be gone yes i am starting late but that's okay because i'm up late and I'm gonna tell y'all how this tastes. And um, I have a my Nutribullet cup. My Nutribullet cup is not, this is not 12 ounces, but I am going to, we don't measure none. Black folks don't measure none, so. Mom. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna stop it about right here where it says I'm max. I was about to say, cause, um, what do, you, what do you mean when you gag every time you drink it? I don't know, it means you don't like it, Tina. You just don't like it. All right, so I'm gonna taste it. This is my first time tasting this. Um, like I said, um, it's to, it's supposed, you're supposed to lose a couple of pounds off of it too. Some people say three to six pounds. I'm not really looking for the pounds because I'm not giving, I'm not getting myself on a scale and showing y'all my numbers. I just refuse to show y'all my numbers. I can't do that, 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 that. Not gonna happen. But, um, I will show you uh, every hour that I am drinking this and um, I will be upfront and honest with you about me sticking to it and no lies and nothing like that. Like I'm eating in between meals and I can come on here and show y'all that's not going to be how that is. I'm going to be uh, honest with y'all and tell y'all how it went. And also that when we come off of this thing, it's not just only me on it. It's me, Tina, and Terrell. Um, we stopped off at the uh, wholesale uh, Artist Gardens and we picked up, well, it was two jugs for $33. And we ended up coming out $103 and something cents, 95 cents it was, I believe, um, for uh, the six jugs. And so I don't want $103.95 to go down the drain. So yes, that's another thing that's in the back of my head. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, it tastes like it tastes like grapefruit pop. Does it taste like pop to you? Yeah. There's acid in it. Okay, well. I get acidy taste. Does it hurt your stomach? Yeah, that's why my stomach was hurting. The citrus, I don't know, it's something that was hurting my stomach. Most of the time, my stomach is breaking down all the stuff. Okay, yeah, but anyway, so hopefully I survive this. Because <laughs> right now, I'm already trying to, I ain't trying to make no excuses to try to find something like, okay, yeah, I don't think I want to do this. No, $103.95, I'm drinking this honey like it's Diet Coke. Have a Coke and a smile makes you feel good. Makes you feel nice. Anyway, it's not about the taste, right? It's all right. It's all right to deny yourself. You know what I'm saying? I need, I need to deny myself. 
Because honey, let me tell you about self. Self is your worst enemy. You can be your enemy against your own self. That's why Leandria Johnson said, Lord deliver me from me. And the Lord knows. So anyway, when this is drunk down, I gotta have uh, 12 hours until this is gone and then I go into another day. And Lord, I just ask in the name of Jesus that you allow me to make it, Lord God. I got to be able to accomplish something. Please give me the strength. Anyway, y'all, when I was in Atlanta, and I'm gonna drop some pictures of uh, where I was, they, they had me not gonna stay where I'm at because I'm no longer there. Duh. Anyway, I was put up in the Whitley Luxury Collection Hotel in Atlanta. I mean, well, I mean, Buckhead. Okay. Now, this is the place where most of your celebrities go and it things like that. It used to be the Ritz Carlton. Yeah, Tina said it used to be the Ritz Carlton. But anyway, however, I was on a 17th floor club access area. And um, we just really had a nice, good a uh, nice time. Yes, I'm bragging. Because I saw one of those comments on the T-Page. It's like, oh, she put her mama in this, and the hotel looked raggedy and all this type of stuff. No, baby, the hotel was not raggedy. I, I, let me tell you something about me. I have my own mind. And I do have a choice in the matter. Before I leave my main stay, best believe I knew where my temporary stay was gonna be before I left Michigan. So all that, all of the tea pages, oh, she put her mama in a hotel or whatever. No, I desired and wanted to be in a hotel simply because I'm the type of person that I like privacy. Uh, I don't like to, uh, I like to get up when I wanna get up. Um, I don't want to lay around anybody's house and sleep all day or I don't want to be getting up going in and out in the middle of the night because that's what, which what we did when we was in Atlanta. Um, we went to the store, you know, 12, 1, 2, or 3 in the morning. That's how we are. Um, spontaneous people. Um, I would say no type of order. Uh, but I'm like that. If I want to go to the store and I don't care what time it is, I'm going to the store. You know what I'm saying? And I don't need to be in and out somebody's crib like that. Even though it's my daughter's and her boyfriend's place, it's just the simple fact that I feel more comfortable in a hotel and with me and Tennis Row. Plus, Queen does not have any guest room. And if she did, I probably would have still stayed in the hotel, just to keep it real. Um, not there, there's any drama or anything like that. I don't feel like I have to prove that to anybody. But the treatment that I had was star treatment. And uh, of course, my daughter is going to um, make sure of that when it comes to me. She's not gonna have steps, she never does. And so I am grateful for her. And I'm also grateful for Lee. Because I think Lee was the one who booked it and had it all set up for me and everything when I got there. I didn't have to worry about nothing. Just, I talked to Lee when I went in and she was like, yeah, just go to the front, check in, say blah, 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 blah. Take your bags, go upstairs and enjoy yourself. And that's what we did. And they checked on us and they came for us. And we ate and we laughed and we loved and we mended and we had a good time. And I am so very happy and pleased that I was able to see my grandchildren, Grand Chewy and my Grand Poo Poo. And we will be back. We will be back. Um, I'm not gonna say when, what we have. We have some plans in mind. Um, don't assume, I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna take that so y'all go to assume it moving. No, out. But we do have plans um, that um, involve us coming back because I do uh, want to be around my grandchildren and be uh, in their life. And for my little CJ, for him, because he talks. That's why I say, said CJ. CJ talks and said, Nani, I don't ever want to lose you again. And that hurted me to my heart to hear him say that. I had to tell him, reassure him, I am, I'm not going nowhere unless the Lord see fit. Okay, but as far as as long as I'm living and I have breath in my body, best believe you always got your nani. You always got me. You always will have me. And it goes for Chewy too, little Chewy. And so um, that's what we plan on doing. I had a good time. I ate what I wanted to eat. I had my choice of where you want to go, mama. What you want to do, mama? You know, and Queen wanted to do so much. You know, she wanted to go. Well, first trip y'all saw, we went to Andretti's. And I noticed that somebody brought that up in the um, comments saying, look, she had to pay. Well, first off, it was her choice of where she wanted to go. 
Um, I don't know nothing about the Andrade's queen wanted to entertain or whatever. Not that we didn't have our own money. So y'all can stop it with that too. Um, matter of fact, I didn't do nothing at Andrade's. That was all really for the fun of the children, if you noticed. I didn't get on Nan, play Nan game or uh, Nan ride or whatever. But the whole thing to me was the importance of having my children and my grandchildren together. That meant more to me than anything. Um, and so Queen came the next day and she wanted to go to, well, let's go to the Coca-Cola factory. Well, let's go to the aquarium. And I had simply told Queen, we can sit in a room and we can talk, we can laugh. We don't have to do nothing if you don't want to. We can ride to, to Walmart. We could go uh, over to Lee's house. Or we could go to your house. It don't matter. We don't have to do, you don't have to entertain Queen. We, like we some tourists. We your family. We together. And that's the most thing that's really, really important to me that matters. You don't always have to come out and feel like you have to spend, 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 spend. Because she doesn't. Okay? I, I, I said this before. What Queen does, Queen does from her heart. So I let her know that. You know, we ain't got to go to no Coca-Cola factory. Plus, I don't like being on the time, y'all. It was like she was calling and saying, Mama, okay, so this closed at 5 o'clock. And we got to be up at the... Right there, stop. That's where you messed me up at when you said we got to be up at a certain time. I, I like to be on my own leisure time. So we ain't got to go catch this Coca-Cola factory. We ain't got to catch the time over here at an aquarium or wherever you want to go. Let's just get up and when we get up, we do us. I'll call you when I'm ready. Or I'll call you when I'm up or you call me and let me know. And we'll do what we do, you know. And we did that, you know. And it was pleasing and we had a good time. And it wasn't no drama. Um, it wasn't no, no, no putting on. Uh, you know, we don't have to do that for the camera. We just who we are. We just everyday simple people. I don't care how, regardless of how people want to look at it, we're happy people. And we don't have to put on for the camera because I don't owe nobody nothing and she does not, or Lee does not, or Clarence does not, or anybody does not owe anything, nobody nothing, because at the end of the day, nobody putting their hands on nobody. You know, don't nobody have to do it. And I don't have to do it for supporters because half of y'all don't support me no way. Some of y'all come over on my channel to be nosy so y'all can make tea. I don't understand what that's about, but tea is supposed to be for drama. There is no drama. There was no drama, so I don't understand why it was tea. What was, why was it called tea? I, I'm, I'm getting a, I don't know. I, I thought misconception. I don't know, it's getting all wrong. I just thought tea channels were to report drama and things that happen and stuff like that and there was no drama it was simply a beautiful time so i don't understand where the tea came i did hear some of the tea channels i'm not gonna lie they brung up old stuff like yeah it was the last time you know this happened and that happened and y'all y'all i'm sorry i know that you want views and everything but to keep bringing up things that are past tense and that really is irrelevant to it, uh, all of us because you can see as you can see we moved on this is a day different time in a different space and we are you still back there you still going back there because i understand you're trying to get a view anything involves queen nigel or queen nigel's family gonna get you some views but my god please let it be the truth or something positive for a change because it's just not always a negative issue you know what i'm saying and yes family does get into it and yes family does fall out but this was one of those occasions where it was not even that and i don't even understand why for the life of me we were on some t channels but anyway I don't know, maybe if they was positive or maybe they wasn't. All I know is I didn't look at them and all I know is it was the titles. The titles, I know they were clickbait, you know. Um, I know they were clickbait because there wasn't no drama between any of us. So I'm like, yeah, that's a clickbait one, that's a clickbait one. But I am not nevertheless wanted to spoil my trip and look and read into all of that because I felt like I'm here to enjoy my, my grandchildren and my family and to look at all three of my kids together. That is the most important thing to me and that's what I was happy about. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you the little clips and stuff of uh, where we were and the good time that I had. and. You know, we all had together, you know, as a family. I deserve that, y'all. Stop trying to take that right from me as a mother. I deserve that. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like if I did it, I wouldn't receive anything that I have, any blessing that I have, um, as far as what I was blessed with, as far as what my daughter does for me. Y'all stop, please. My daughter is a millionaire, okay? So the simple fact, and I'm not saying that to brag, but to, to go count her pockets for her when it comes to her wanting to do for her family and us not twisting her arm is like cringy it's really cringy to even do that you know what i'm saying but whatever she does for me 
and it's out of the kindness of her heart and whatever I have, I count myself blessed. And if I wasn't that mother and loving mother to her or any of my children, I would not have anything. That's just how it goes. You know, you bring them up, you raise them, you love them, you, you nourish them, you take care of them, and whatever problems y'all got, blah, 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 that did not take over the, the love and affection that we have for each other and, and how I was there and not a deadbeat parent in my children's life. I was there 24 seven. You could tell by our relationship. So what I have is what I deserve. And why I say I deserve it is because that's what my daughter told me. Mama, you deserve that. You deserve, so here again with the blessing thrown up in my face, y'all, I'm sorry. Maybe one day y'all be able to bless your mom like that. Or maybe one day your daughters will be able to bless you like that. You know what I'm saying? Where y'all don't have to keep coming at me. So I had to get that out because I waited till I got home to do this. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, this is not going to ruin my trip. And the times, the precious times that I had with all three of them and my two grandchildren. I'm not going to let nobody mess that up. And I, I had to separate that from this now. So yes, I, I did see little comments or whatever. Even though I did not look at the whole um channel uh or i mean whole thing on the t the t pages or whatever but i did read into the comments pretty much basically where it was talking about because everybody know you go to the comments instead of um, hold on let me pause your video because uh, even though you got this as a clickbait i'm gonna pause the video and i'm gonna go in the comments to pretty much see what this video was about and so that's what i did i did not look at your video but sorry but i didn't want nothing you know really spoiling my time which it tried to get to me at first and I'm like, no, I can't, I can't allow that, you know, cause I had to think to myself, what am I doing wrong? I ain't did nothing. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. But anyway, I wanted to tell y'all that and I will put some clips, like I said, in the end of this video, um, where my stay was and th th this is the fun times that we had y'all. I'm really blessed to be able to, to have been able to witness that and see that. And I'm thankful and I'm happy. All right. So till then, peace out in Jesus' name, be blessed.
when we go over there, but I think everything should be fine. 